protection from speaker cabinet resonances? Is that just a sales gimmick? Well, this question comes from Craig in Thornton, Colorado, just, just down the street a piece. And he writes, hey Paul, speaker manufacturers tout the many ways they try to eliminate resonances in their cabinets. Do they ever? I believe by the time speakers are generating enough motion to create resonances, they are too loud for anyone to hear that resonance. I think it's a gimmick to compare their cabinets to their competitors and pad the bill. What do you think? <laughs> I love it. Uh, you know, there's always a, a, a good bit of rivalry in the speaker cabinet, uh, or the speaker business altogether. But no, no, I, 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 I don't think that is the case. I can tell you that well, we being right in the middle of designing the, the FR30s, the loudspeakers, Chris, our designer, is, has been wringing his hands over speaker cabinet, cabinet resonances because along the side we've got these passive radiators, these big, heavy, passive radiators, and those radiators make it very difficult to put proper cabinet bracing inside. And he's, you know, Chris is very worried about that. And one of the, one of the reasons that I mean, look at, geez, oh, uh, Kef, B&W, uh, a lot of the um, uh, British guys, uh, Wilson, uh, Magico, on down the road, they go to crazy lengths to deaden the cabinets. And they do it because it's very important. I, I would tell you that it is perhaps one of the more important aspects of a great sounding speaker. And I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. Why? Well, to Craig's point, they're playing really loud. I mean, you've got 95, 100 dB of sound in the room and a little vibration of the cabinet that you're going to hear it. Well, it's not actually what's happening. If you look at a, a, a graph, and I've seen these before, where we do a sweep. And as we run through the frequencies, you'll see these these bumps and these dips in, <clears throat> in the actual output of the speaker, a lot of that can be due to the resonance of the cabinet where it sings along in harmony and it makes it, it, you can actually see it in the response of the drivers. It isn't just the, the noise that it's making, but it actually changes the output, the total sum of output. And you know, a, a, a cabinet that, that sings is what we would refer to when you put your hand on it. Is, is just something you don't want. You will hear that, I guarantee it. And Magico, I mean, those are super expensive speakers. YG, a, a local Colorado company, they make their cabinets out of solid aluminum. Now, I'm not gonna say that that isn't entirely to get people excited from a, you know, sales gimmick standpoint, but it's all based in science. For sure. Uh, we saw a guy in Munich years ago had cement cabinets and he was selling them cheap. I mean, you know, hey, you get a cast or put some cement in, paint it up, sell it. Those, those, he wasn't looking for a competitive edge price wise, uh, but it made a big difference. So the deader you could make your cabinet, the, the, the better you're going to be sonically. And it, it is, it is absolutely true. So, Hate to, hate to burst your bubble there, Craig, but <laughs> that's, to the best of my knowledge, that's, that's the way she rolls. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take it easy.